Well, basically, William Shatner took a little shot at Star Wars Episode 9. It's not a big shot. He didn't write a full paragraph. He didn't get triggered and pissed. But he took a little shot at Episode 9, and I thought it was worth talking about. So let's take a look at this article. Here we see, from Battling to Comics, Star Trek icon William Shatner reacts to Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. And, you know, I gotta say, William Shatner, I've been checking him out on Twitter, as have a lot of people similar-minded to me, and he's actually pretty cool. He seems like he is on the right side of history here. He doesn't like wokeness in movies, he doesn't like force agendas, things like that. He just seems like a pretty down-to-earth guy. So if you're not up on William Shatner, then yeah, check him out. I recommend listening to what he says. Star Trek icon William Shatner reacted to the latest Star Wars film, Star Wars Rise of Skywalker, directed by you-know-who. Shatner wrote on Twitter, so I saw the new Star Wars movie. I need a wayfinder of my own to understand what I saw. Here's his tweet right here. And without getting into anything about how The Rise of Skywalker is the ultimate movie to kill the past, which I really don't like, it's very difficult to understand. I've only seen it once at this point, and yeah, I was a little bit, not lost, I mean, you know where it's going and where it's going to get to, but the point is, it's kind of disjointed from the very first scene to all the way almost up until they're going to meet Palpatine or find Palpatine and William Shatner points this out and like I said it's a good thing to point out because you don't have to get into the hate and the political stuff just to show that there's a pretty deep issue. He also poked fun at the Mandalorian so there's some not to into. I haven't seen what he said yet. The actor would also poke fun at the latest Star Wars TV show The Mandalorian when one of his followers sarcastically told him if he loved The Rise of Skywalker, he should try The Mandalorian. Shatner responded with a Battlestar Galactic reference. That's easy. It's a story of the adventures of a Cylon and his green kid. I don't follow Battlestar Galactica, so I don't get it. Sorry. Shatner will go on to spoil the return of a fan favorite character from the original trilogy. He wrote, well, not the spoil, but someone's back in the movie. Referring to, of course, Han Solo. They also mention here Shatner is not alone in his reaction to The Rise of Skywalker. That's the thing about this one, guys, is it's not only the fans and, you know, the butthurt man-baby haters this time. There's a lot of critics who were generally on the side of Disney Star Wars who are saying this movie isn't so good. There's a little controversy on Rotten Tomatoes because the Rotten Tomatoes score for the audience is pretty damn high. I haven't gotten into that, maybe sometime. By the way, it's Christmas, it's holiday season, I'm still making videos, I'm still here, but I'm going to take a little bit of a leeway on checking up on every little thing. So yeah, here they mention the Quarterings video who says corruption at Rotten Tomatoes. And the Quarterings is not like a huge Star Wars guy either, he's just calling it as he sees it. He's doing his best job to debunk some of the stuff that's going on in Hollywood. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think about that. And again, Shatner is pretty cool. I'll probably cover him again at some point. He's also getting into these fights with like SJWs on Twitter, stuff like that. Tell him to shut up. He doesn't want his agendas in movies and things like that. So if you didn't know, if you're not aware, Shatner is a pretty cool guy. Do some Christmas shoutouts. Although a lot of people will be watching this video probably after Christmas. Shoutout to Star Wars for Life, aka Ruthie, Soul Assassin, Bionic Belly Button, 19k Fox, cool guy, should have given him a shout out a long time ago, cool channel, check him out maybe. Echo Base Network, another cool channel. Inya Gaming, saw him here just before, thank you sir. The Rant, been meaning to give him a shout out, I've seen him commenting and I just don't have time to get to everyone's channel including his man, I'm very sorry, but if you're listening Rant, thank you, and if you guys are listening, check out The Rant. And also big shout out to Jerry at Pop Culture Minefield, who's also been giving me some great support. And I appreciate it. Check out him. Very cool guy. He's done a live here with me one time. Thank you, sir. That's it. Lots of shout outs. Merry Christmas. And I will see you next time. If you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button. If you got a channel, I'll probably give you a shout out sometime. I'm going to just leave me a comment. And I am going to end the video because I always screw up the end. And this is no exception. See you next time.